Verizon eSIM activation made simple. Welcome to the Mobile Services Center channel, your trusted guide in understanding the ever-changing world of mobile technology. If you've recently purchased a new smartphone, switched carriers, or simply heard about something called an ESIM, you might be wondering what it really is, how it works, and how to activate it properly, especially if you're a Verizon customer. The good news is, this video will walk you through everything you need to know about Verizon's eSIM activation process, step by step, with real explanations you can follow without needing to be a tech expert. By the end of this video, you'll understand what eSIM technology actually does, how it differs from a traditional SIM card, how to confirm that your phone supports it, and exactly how to activate your Verizon eSIM, whether through the My Verizon app or using a QR code. We'll also go through common activation problems and the easiest ways to fix them. Finally, we'll talk about the real-world benefits of switching to ESIM, from travel convenience to having more flexibility in how you manage your phone line. So, let's start from the beginning and make sense of it all. What is an eSIM and how does it differ from a physical SIM card? For decades, every mobile phone required a small plastic card, called a SIM card. SIM stands for Subscriber Identity Module. It's the small chip that tells your carrier who you are and gives your phone access to voice, text, and data services. Now, an eSIM, short for Embedded SIM, does the same job but it's built directly into your device's hardware. Instead of physically inserting or removing a tiny chip, you can simply download a SIM profile electronically. That's why we call it a digital SIM. This means that when you activate your Verizon eSIM, you're not waiting for a physical card in the mail or visiting a store to pick one up. The activation happens instantly, and the SIM information is stored inside your phone's internal memory. There are several clear advantages to this system. First, it allows for instant activation. Whether you're signing up for a new plan or switching from another carrier, you can do it in minutes from home. Second, eSIM technology allows you to store multiple SIM profiles on the same phone. For example, you could have your Verizon number for personal use and another international eSIM profile for traveling abroad. No need to physically swap cards. And third, ESIMs are more durable and secure. Because there's no physical component to lose or damage, your connection is safer and easier to manage. As carriers move toward fully digital systems, ESIMs are becoming the new standard. In fact, Apple has already removed the SIM card tray completely from newer iPhone models in the US making eSIM the default. Verizon, naturally, supports this shift. Checking if your phone is compatible with Verizon eSIM. Before you try to activate your Verizon eSIM, it's important to make sure your phone actually supports eSIM functionality and works with Verizon's network. If you have an iPhone XR, XS, or any newer model, you're good to go. These devices have eSIM capability built in. Starting with the iPhone 14 series in the United States, Apple removed the SIM tray entirely, so those devices rely only on eSIM. For Android users, many of the latest devices also support eSIM. Compatible models include the Samsung Galaxy S22, S23, and S24 series, Galaxy Z Flip and Z Fold devices, Google Pixel 6 and newer, and various Motorola and OnePlus phones. To check your phone's compatibility, follow these steps. Go to your phone's Settings, tap About Phone or General greater than About. Look for a number labeled EID. That stands for Embedded Identity Document. 
If you see an EID, your phone supports eSIM. If you're bringing your own device to Verizon rather than purchasing one directly from them, there are two more things to verify. First, make sure the device is unlocked. A locked device may only accept eSIMs from the original carrier. Second, confirm that the phone's network bands are compatible with Verizon's. You can do this by visiting Verizon's official Bring Your Own Device page and entering your phone's IMEI number. Once everything checks out, you're ready to move on to activation. How to activate your Verizon ESIM Activating your Verizon ESIM is easier than it might sound. Verizon gives you two simple methods to choose from, activation through the My Verizon app or activation using a QR code provided by the carrier. Let's start with the My Verizon app method, which is the most straightforward for most users. Method one, activation using the My Verizon app. Make sure your phone is connected to Wi-Fi. The activation process won't work correctly if you're trying to use mobile data before your line is active. Two, Download and open the My Verizon app on your phone. 3. Log in with your Verizon account credentials. 4. Tap Devices, then select Activate or Switch Device. 5. Choose Activate on eSIM. 6. The app will detect your device and read your eSIM's EID number automatically. 7. Confirm your plan, number, and other details, then tap Activate. After that, the phone will begin downloading your Verizon ESIM profile. This may take a few minutes. Once the download is complete, the phone usually restarts on its own. When it powers back on, you should see the Verizon network name or a 5G icon in the status bar. That means your ESIM has been successfully activated. Method 2. Activation using a QR code. In some cases, Verizon will send you a QR code for manual activation. This might happen if you're activating online, transferring your number, or setting up a device that doesn't have the My Verizon app pre-installed. Here's what to do. One, on your phone, go to Settings. Two, tap Cellular, Mobile Network, or Network and Internet, depending on your device. Three, Select Add eSIM or Add Cellular Plan. 4. Choose Use QR Code. 5. When prompted, use your phone's camera to scan the QR code Verizon provided via email or text message. Once you scan the code, your phone will automatically download the Verizon ESIM profile and activate it. If your plan is correctly linked to your account, you'll be connected to Verizon's network within a few minutes. That's it. No SIM card tray, no waiting for delivery, just instant connectivity. Common Verizon eSIM activation issues and how to fix them. Even though Verizon's eSIM process is fairly simple, some people run into small issues during setup. Let's go through the most common problems and how to solve them quickly. Issue 1. The eSIM activation fails or gets stuck. If your phone seems frozen on the activation screen, make sure it's connected to Wi-Fi, not mobile data. Disconnect and reconnect your Wi-Fi, then restart your device. Try again through the app or QR code. In many cases, restarting alone resolves the issue. Issue 2. The My Verizon app doesn't detect your device. This can happen if the app is outdated or hasn't been granted the right permissions. Update the My Verizon app to the latest version, close it completely, reopen it, and log in again. If it still doesn't detect your phone, try the QR code method instead. Issue 3. No service after activation. If you've successfully downloaded the eSIM but can't connect to Verizon's network, open Settings, Cellular, Network Selection, and make sure Automatic is turned on. You can also reset your network settings. 
On iPhone, go to Settings, Greater than General, Greater than Transfer or Reset iPhone, Greater than Reset, Greater than Reset Network Settings. Be aware this will erase saved Wi-Fi passwords, so note them down first. Issue 4. Switching Phones or Plans Each eSIM is tied to one specific device. If you're upgrading your phone, you'll need to deactivate the old ESIM and download a new one. You can do this through the My Verizon app under Manage eSIM or by contacting Verizon Customer Support. If none of these solutions solve your problem, you can reach out to Verizon's online chat or visit a local store. The staff can reprovision your ESIM in just a few minutes. If you followed along, you now have a complete understanding of how to set up and manage your Verizon eSIM, whether you're activating a new device or transferring your existing number. Before you go, if this guide helped you, please take a moment to like the video, subscribe to the Mobile Services Center channel, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss another update. And tell us in the comments, how did your Verizon eSIM activation go? Were you able to set it up easily? Or did you run into any issues we can help with? Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. And now it is the end of our episode today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Mobile Service Center, and press like if you really like the video. See you in the next video.